I didn't, yo, I, I did not think he was gonna clap him. What's good, baby? It's RTTV. Gang, gang, gang. If it's your first time wow. here, death won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button. Welcome back to RTTV Reacts, where we react to everything. Gang, gang, everything. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> hey, yo, man, we back with some army movies, man. Yo, we did Saving Private Ryan. And now we back with Full Metal Jacket, diving into the Vietnam War. This is apparently one of the biggest army movies that's ever came out in history. And it's done by Stanley Kubrick. This is some visionary shit. Mm. And if you guys want to get the uncut reaction to this, or be movies ahead with us alongside, again, TV shows and a lot more, make sure you head over to our Patreon. The link is right down below. Is it messed up that I really associate Stanley Kubrick with Frank Ocean? No. Like literally, nah, every, anytime I see time. his name, I hear that line in my head. I literally just said that yeah, as well. I'm like, crazy. bro, that shit sounds familiar. <coughs> but yo, let's get into it, man. Full Metal Jacket, FMJ. I am Gunnery Sergeant Hartman, your senior drill instructor. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to. And the first and last words out of your filthy sewers will be, sir. Do you maggots understand that? Sir, yes, sir. Bullshit, I can't hear you. Sound off like you got a pair. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. I am hard, but I am fair. There is no racial bigotry here. I do not look down on niggers, types, oh my God. or greasers. Here you are all equally worthless. <laughs> You're all equally <laughs> worthless. <laughs> That's, That's a wild. Pack the gear to serve in my beloved car. From now on, you're Private Snowball. Do you like that name? Oh, yes, sir! Well, there's one thing that you won't like, Private Snowball. They don't serve fried chicken and watermelon on a daily mm. basis in my so, I thought so, Ray so, stole so, out of here. Yes, what have we got here? A fucking comedian, Private Joker. I admire your honesty. Hell, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. <laughs> oh, my God. You little scumbag. I got your name. I got your ass. You will not laugh. You will not cry. You will learn by the numbers. I will teach you. What your excuse? Sir, excuse for what, sir? I'm asking the fucking questions here, Private. You understand? <laughs> Just do this sir, nice sir. at this. Thank you very much. Can I be in charge for a while? <laughs> sir, yes, sir. How tall are you, Private? Sir, five foot nine, sir. Five foot nine. I didn't know they stacked shit that high. <laughs> 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 sir, yes, sir. That's a Boy, bar. Like That's a, a bar. I'm using that. that. It'd be so hard for me not to laugh. Do you suck dicks? Sir, no, sir. Bullshit, I'll bet you could suck a golf ball. Through our holes is crazy. Yo, fuck. Get on your knees, scumbag. Hey, yo. Nah. Yeah. Don't choke yourself. <laughs> oh, what the what fuck? The fuck? Pull my fucking hand over there. I said choke yourself. You had best square your ass away and start shitting me Tiffany couplets. Or I will definitely fuck you up. Sir, He's not sorry. smiling anymore. Yeah, that grin went away yeah, fast. Power, 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 Oh my god. Side was that private pile? Sir, left side, sir. Are you sure, private pile? Sir, yes, sir. Nah, fuck that. Nah, Evan, you have to do this. Yeah, I guess you have to go through shit like that. If you get ready to go through nah, a but life or death that, situation. But this ain't school, though. This ain't no place. We don't need no yeah. jokes. Nigga. Like, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> I don't think nowadays you can't do that shit though. Nah, I don't think you can either. Damn. But they, they probably, honestly, they probably do, bro. I, you gonna they, do? I'm probably they're doing this what shit now, bro. Do? That's really him, yo. That's funny as fuck. Yeah, them niggas been getting to the back for a grip. Mm -hmm. That's a wild way to get ready to Plank go. challenge. See. It's still better than, it's still better than, um, Jill. We are the masters of our enemy. We are the saviors of my life. Damn. So be it. Until there 
just the longest prayer. <laughs> I don't know if this is a prayer. This is just a... Nah, they just made that up for that right there. <laughs> Nah, he be dogging Pyle, bro. I can do that. I feel like the hardest thing for me would be climbing the rope, but I could do it. Oh, he's piecing him, bro. That's black man, too. Told you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Use some shoulders. Lift up, lift, lift. Alex had to wear that completely beast, match on that wheel. Yeah, he did well. Real shit. That's another one thing I came up with. Sir, you suck. Get your fat ass up there, pile. Get your ass up there. Do you mean to tell me that you cannot do one single pull-up? You are a worthless piece of shit, pile. Get out of my face. Get up there, pile. Yeah, pile fucked up by laughing the first day, nigga. Now he's on your ass. Nah, he's on fall, bro. I won't front that shit's easy. I don't know how he can't do that. He has to lift his legs up. He's probably up, bro. also scared of heights. Yeah, that's not easy, bro. Yeah, I want to say, like, scaring the heights and stuff plays a big role. He got nothing holding on to him, bro. One slip, you're fucked, bro. Are you going to fucking die, Kyle? Are you going to die on me? Do it now! I wonder how many miles they gotta fucking run. I'll tell you right now, I know for a fact his ass is like, fuck, why I choose this right now? Actually, I mean, at this time, I think they, got, they was getting drafted. Could have gotten drafted. Yeah, drafted was still going on at this point. <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> that's what's up. That's why he keeps pushing him. It's like he sees something in this dude. And, and, um, what's his name? Pyle? And Joker. Not Pyle. Hey. I almost feel scared for him. Yeah, no is. bullshit. This movie gets me nervous. I feel like it's realistic, so some fucking nah, some wild man. shit's gonna happen, bro. I really like this movie, and we're not even that far into the movie yet. There you go. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> if your killer instincts are not clean and strong, you will hesitate at the moment of truth. You will not kill. You will become dead, Marie. And then you will be in a world of shit. Because Marines are not allowed to die without permission. One, two, three, four, I love the Marine Let's go. Let's go now. Your corpse. Your corpse. Your corpse. Your corpse. Marine corpse. I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Ask him all pussy is mighty cold. Ask him all pussy is mighty cold. Feel good. Feel good. Feel good. Is good. Real good. Tastes good, mighty good, good for you, good for me. Who comes up with this? My boy must have some Eskimo pussy, man. He got some, he got some real thoughts on it. Real good. <laughs> Tastes good. <laughs> That's tough. That makes you even more like, yo. They turn them all against him. And they get the shit out of that though. Nah, they gonna just be on his ass now. Like, yeah. Nah, you ain't even none of that bullshit. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, twenty-two. One, two, three, twenty-two. Like in every hit, home workout, they have that. 
Yeah, he fucked up again. Yeah, he fucked up again. They're like, yeah, we're getting tired of fucking paying off of your fuck ups. Wait, it's gonna be Joker that's gonna do it? You see Joker with the towel? Damn. Oh! Ah! 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 Bro, Every that got a whole fucking squad. hurt, bro. Like, Stop fucking up, bro! I know that hurt, bro. See, Joker's not even doing it. But he's he watching is, everybody, though. He is the leader of this. Right here, right here, right, ready? Oh, he's gonna do it. Do it, bro. Do it, Joker. They fucked him up. And that's grown men that did that. That's a little kid with Bow! What are you doing if they did that to you, What the fuck is he gonna do? <laughs> He's gonna jump again? Fire Joker! Sir! In the Marines, sir! In the Marines! Outstanding! Wow, I didn't know that. Those individuals showed what one motivated Marine and his rifle can this do. This dude's scaring me now, yo. Yeah. I don't blame him, bro. We will all be able to do the same thing. God has a hard on for Marines. Because we kill everything we see. He plays his games, we play ours. Nice. Yeah, you better worry about him. What? You fucked up a person as a as a potential killer. Like they're training to kill, and then you fucking want to hit him in the middle of the night. Shit. And that's scary, bro. Yeah. He's a good shooter, bro. He's about to clap some of these people, bro. What's your sixth general order? Sir, the private sixth general order is to receive and obey and pass on to the sentry who relieves me. Private Powell, you are definitely born again hard. Hell, I may even allow you to serve as a rifleman in my beloved corps. Sir, yes, sir. Damn, that's a good that's an honor right there. I guess being his ass works. <laughs> What? I am 14. <laughs> Most of you will go to Vietnam. Some of you will not come back. Those are some tall ass dudes, yo. Like the, in the middle, they're all tall as shit. Marines die. That's what we're here for. But yeah, the Marine bro. Corps lives forever. Comer Pyle. Comer Pyle! Say yes, sir! You forget your fucking name. He's on demon years. time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's, he's ready. On demon he's, on, he's an infantry Yo. and shit. He's an infantry, so he's he's wow. He's going right for the smoke, bro. Oh yeah. Nah, this nigga's on demon time! Oh, that's creepy. Oh my gosh. He's killing us. Hi, Joker. That's some super villain shit. Bro, this is the origin story of Kingpin. I am in a world of shit. Be his ass. He don't give a fuck. It's a private studio to inform the senior drill instructor that private file has a full magazine and is locked and loaded, sir! Oh my god. Nah, he looks crazy, bro. <laughs> what is your major malfunction, Nub Nuts? Didn't mommy and daddy show you enough attention when you oh. saw a child? Oh! I didn't, yo, I, I did not think he was gonna clap him. My bad, my bad, my bad. I, yo, you better dip. I think he's mentally all dead. Like, nah, he's not, bro. He's, he's definitely not, bro. He's like, like, what? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Oh my god. We interrupt this program to bring you. Thank you for watching RTTV on YouTube for early access and premium content. Make sure you join our Patreon. The link is right down below. And if you want to continue the conversation, head over to our Discord right now. We have a great community ready for you. You can become part of the action. Join right now. Link down below. Let's go. Stupid.
stupid dog. You made me look bad. <laughs> the thing is, though, what I don't get, I don't get those. Like, he didn't seem like he was mentally stable even coming into this. So why didn't even let him in the army? I mean, I guess it, there was a deficiency of like soldiers at the time. They, was they didn't recognize in. stuff like that back then. You know? Yeah, they didn't have like yeah. the means of. I guess you. <laughs> oh, that's what this is, bro. Yeah. Wow, that's wild. Nah, that's wow, crazy. That's from, that's from here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yo, that's fucking wild. Oh, they're in Vietnam already. Yeah. He's so horny. That was hilarious. Well, the thing about it, I feel like the first time I actually heard that was on a parody. There's a rumor going around that the Ted Seas fire is going to be canceled. Rear echelon parody. Yeah, like, what? Like, is this like Dave's like, Charlie might this? try to pull off something this is during the Ted Seas fire. This is why, because he got his full hair here, back and shit. There's a lot of talk about it, sir. I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. Now, you must have seen Blood Trail. Drag marks. It was raining, sir. Well, that's why God passed the law of probability. I rewrite it and give it a happy ending. Say, uh, one, one kill. <laughs> say, we gotta make it seem like we're doing something here, bro. You I was there, man. I was in the shit with the grunts. Don't listen to any of Payback's bullshit, Raptor man. Sometimes he thinks he's John Wayne. John Wayne. <laughs> I'm John Wayne. <laughs> he knows TT very little. Joker trying to tell him. I'm strapped in. I got you on a cold. Oh of shit! Madness. Oh. Oh shit! Fucking clapped him. Bro, you know they gangsters. They pulled up literally ran right their base, bro. The enemy has very deceitfully taken advantage of the Tet ceasefire to launch an offensive all over the country. So far, we've had it pretty easy here. We seem to be the exception. In other words, it's a huge shit sandwich, and we're all gonna have to take a bite. That ass, bro. The tide of the war just shifted just like that. Sir, does this mean that Aunt Margaret's not coming? That's what you asked? <laughs> this just got mad serious. That's the fuck you asked? Yeah, yeah. He just smoking? Know. Like, picking niggas up? Yeah, I don't know if he's actually clipping people. I got it. Yeah, I, I thought it was because of the him being in the air, but it might be because of every single aspect potential body being shot. Mm -hmm. Nah, he is wild. Oh! 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 She was random people. Damn. That's fucked up, bro. Wow. This dude's sick. That's. Crazy. Same to kill. Ah, but that's war. Like, yeah. you, know, you have to kill. I have to. I don't know. Uh, this, this, this. Uh, laws against killing innocent people, bro. We're looking for first platoon, Hotel Two Five. I got a bro named Cowboy here. You people want one? No, sir. We're reporters from Stars and Stripes. Stars and Stripes. Yes, sir. I'm Cowboy's platoon commander. Cowboy's just down the road in a platoon area. Uh, oh, Cowboy's over here? No problem. Welcome aboard. You a photographer? No, I'm a combat correspondent. Oh, you seen much combat? <laughs> well, I've seen a little on TV. <laughs> <laughs> talk the talk. Do you walk the walk? Oh. He kind of reminds me of thing of. Hey, you might not know who it is. What's but the fire animal mother is one of the finest human beings in the world. This is my bro. Oh, 
Oh, he's oh, dead. What the fuck? This is his party. He's the guest of honor. This makes me sick, bro. I'm gonna lie. This is part of Slantide Drill Instructors. These are great days we're living, bros. We're jolly green giants walking the earth with guns. These people we wasted here today. Yo, the music the game played in the background never know. wild for this scene. But making people like turn people to killers, bro. You can't be surprised like the outcome of what like how they act after, bro. It's like killing such a crazy thing itself. Get down, dumbass. That's sick. How they made the cameraman like move as if he's one of the soldiers, crouched down and everything. Actually, what I would even have on 16s though. Oh shit. I'm surprised this dude's still taking pictures. No, fuck the pictures, bro. That's your job, though, Evan. Like, come on. Shit, not during when people shooting at me. Oh, <laughs> wait, after everybody's done shooting. Yeah, 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 yeah. My job does not take precedence over my yeah, life. You're a news reporter. No, it does. You have to get the news out. Your no, no, life no, no, is no, no. life changing. At least he knows that. I uh, I wanted to meet interesting and stimulating people of an ancient culture and kill them. Jeez. I wanted to be the first kid on my block to get a confirmed kill. So crazy ass aspiration. She's yeah, she's racist. She said no boom boom with some brother. What the motherfucker? <laughs> she said, so brother, Tupacu. <laughs> that's wild. What he's trying to tell you is that you black boys pack too much meat. That's, that's <laughs> wild. Tupacu. <laughs> All fucking niggers must fucking hang. Oh, the fuck, nigga? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, what the hell, nigga? We in the same world with each other. You still racist, nigga? What the fuck? Oh, shit. That shit made me jump like a fucking bitch. Hotel One, actual. This is Cowboy. Any of that? Oh, we the set. This is Cowboy. Crazy as hit. Boom, Damn. That's wild. Just like that, bro, leadership could change. Right? You, I already changed quite a bit in the mm -hmm. movie, too. Yeah, oh, you're right. That's yeah, true. Because uh, uh, the first one, the lieutenant died, right? The yeah, first lieutenant. Yeah. We gotta leave, leave the body there. What's up? Change of direction. Oh, this dude's racist as fuck. He got a Confederate flag on. Yeah, I'm like, yo, I just peeped that right now. <laughs> okay, listen up. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're changing direction. That's grimy. Why did make him go first, bro? He's getting clapped, bro. So, yep, we're gonna send a black man there to make sure shit's clear. If he gets clapped, shit. Show where you shouldn't go that way. He's wide open. They shot him in his ass, bro. They shot him in his leg. The crazy thing is, isn't the sniper behind him? It wasn't even a sniper, that's a funny thing about or it. Or that gun, wasn't it behind them? Nah, it wasn't behind him. Oh, oh my god. He's shooting from the side. Yeah. Never. 
Like they didn't. He went into. He went into like the, the city the area and shit like that. Area, but in between the buildings. We're gonna sit tight, and <coughs> keep your eyes open. <coughs> if they decide to hit us, we we'll have to pull back fast. Oh my oh. God! Yo, eight ball is getting fucking forged. Cease your fucking fire! Oh what? We can't leave him out there. We're not leaving him. We'll get him when the tank comes up. And I'm going in to bring him out. Yo, you Come sit the me. fuck down. Yes, God damn it. Yeah, you can see Cowboy got no no pull over here, bro. This is what happens, bro. They're gonna shoot him by accident. <coughs> I can't imagine how much times that happened in war where it's like the fucking command gets killed and at that point the whole squad's all over the place and shit. He told him. He told him. He definitely told him. He said, yo, they're trying to lure us out. My guy. You're not gonna hit him because he keeps shooting. Murph, we're in some deep shit. I got two men down. What's the story on that fucking tank? Over. Roger, out. Basically, we're fucked, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, you guys. We gotta go bring him back. Let's go get him. Let's do it. No, this dude's an idiot. Mother, that's a direct order. Yeah, he's dead, bro. Fuck you, Goblin! Fuck all you assholes! Uh, he wants to go out, bro. Uh, this is some yeah, these niggas went wrong. He has a better there. angle. Don't right go. Now, just don't, don't move. Go. Just don't move. Stay where you're at. Just don't what move. There you go. Point at him. Oh! But if it's an actual sniper, you can get picked right by poking your head out right there. They're definitely not building. I, at least he knows what, where it's coming from now, though. Yeah. I told you that. <laughs> This is how I used to play in Call of Duty. I always go to outskirts, then work my way in. Put your head down, bro. Put your fucking head down. I fucking, I knew his whole body was exposed, bro. Nah, he's a dumbass. That's what he gets. Yeah, my boy was like all out there, like, yo, if you gonna go on the radio, at least duck down. Oh, he could have left that dude by himself. That's what I'm saying. I left his ass. I bet. I told you three times. Everybody who want to be smart, roll with me. <laughs> everybody who think they Superman and can't get killed, go with him. At this point, the whole squad's about to die, bro. Fuck it. Fuck yeah, it. That's how the movie ends. <laughs> they all get killed by a sniper. Nah, that's some gigs and shit, though. Yeah, they went all in stalker. So smoke grenades? See, that's tactical. They should have tried that when they was trying to get home. Yeah, I would, you know what's crazy? Well, before y'all went on the radio, you should have threw that shit. Let me get some coverage so I can be on this radio without worrying about this nigga clapping me. I was never walking, bro. Like, no, I'm not going. I'm not going. <laughs> See, but I don't know how it works. Like, if you disc, if you like, um, don't listen to your commanding officer, I'm pretty nah, sure. I don't think they could walk me to my death, my nigga. It's a girl. It was oh, a kid. Oh shit. That's crazy. A little ass kid, bro. Yeah, remember I said that? Don't say that. <laughs> Damn. This nigga threw his gun. gun. Nah, she could have been a sniper, but she can't even kill him. Nah, but he's hiding behind Ooh! Whoa! Wow. Yeah, that shit's sad, bro. But that little girl done picked off like four of my niggas, bro. 
But I don't, think, I don't think she was by herself though. She because could have been it was a sniper, bro. She couldn't barely shoot the guy right there. Nah, but he was hiding behind, behind a wall. wall. He was yeah. behind a wall. No. So she was actually aiming at the right location. She he was just protected. What's she saying? What's she saying? She's crying. Damn. Nah, Joker, shut the Just fuck up. Let's same. bounce. I'm not gonna even have a hard conversation. I, 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 I'm, I'm not trying you. to die, bro. I'm with you on this. Like, I'm out, my nigga. Like, like, what are we really doing? Like, we already clapped it. Like, it's like, I think she's just bleeding out. So I'm like, bro, I can't fix you right now. I'm gonna just kill you so you nah, don't gotta not suffer. Because you gotta suffer, bro. Because he's bugging. When you bring her back and niggas find out, like, nigga, she's gonna be a prisoner of war. Yeah, it's like she'd rather die than what they finna do to this poor girl if they bring her back. So I'd just shoot her. I don't even know what's the point of even bringing her back anyways. Yeah, bro. But they also don't want to be the one to shoot her. Mm-hmm. Don't just do it. You got to, dog. Nah, if I was, I would've do You looked at her eye way too long. You got mouth, bro. My nigga, you was about to shoot her if you're gonna, if you're gonna jam anyway. Shoot her. But it's different knowing now the defenseless yeah. is looking at you, dog. Oh. oh. You did it. Yeah, it's tough. We have nailed our names in the pages of history. What is the story he wrote? We hump down to the perfume river to set in for the night. Oh, that's really good. No, sure. It didn't have to do with typical army stuff. I like That's why I like it. What do you mean by that? The, like, I usually see like big war scenes and I have to do a lot with like blood shit and stuff. This was more like. Like the psychology of it to the mind of a soldier. I'm in a world of shit. Yes, but I am alive. And I am not afraid. That's it? Yeah. Oh, that was a fucking movie right there. Like a fuck. That was that was a interesting ending. Wow. That didn't need any more than that, bro. Yeah, wow, that was a wow. That was a really no, good it movie. wasn't even an extra nut. It was just like this. Is literally, like what happened and all. Yeah, it's like this is just what happens. It's like nothing more, nothing less. We're not gonna add extra fluff to it. And I like that. I like that they just got they got to the point with what with the message that they were trying to give across like during in war anything could happen the craziest things could happen you have to sometimes you have to kill people that you don't want to kill right that are attacking you there's going to be people who are killing innocent people i like the depiction of war within this movie this was really great at the end of that right there you could tell that he became like numb like that that like that last like sequence of him talking right there like you could tell like yo i'm alive that's that's the most important thing that i feel about this situation right now I think it too is you figured out like I live in this shit world, bro. I just killed a girl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like this is the way I live. Mm-hmm. It's, it's crazy. It's like yo, I literally had to kill you. Like, oh, I don't know who was the girl, but it was, it was a, a girl. girl. It was a girl. Yeah, yeah he but had to kill a girl. It's also not even just the fact that he had to kill a girl, but the fact that it was a young girl that was killing them too. Yeah. yeah it's your world. I feel like, um, and it's funny because it's he said the same thing at the end that the homie. That killed himself said he's like i am in a world of full of sh- a world of shit or whatever mm-hmm. so i feel like it goes to show you that either way whether you survive basic training and go to war either way you're fucked, right mm-hmm. yeah like he just uh homie in the beginning he just broke first way early, yeah, yeah right yeah. you know what i'm saying and um and he realized what he was being prepared to do even before it even happened everybody that went to war we seen like they couldn't even rationally think like yo we probably shouldn't go in there because yeah. we'll go get picked off you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. Like they were just fixed, I feel like on the adrenaline of killing people, they were built to kill. That's what their model was, yeah. right? Like we just I'm here to kill these gooks or whatever. They right. had like, you know, they wasn't even envisioning these people as people, right? Mm-hmm. These, these are gooks. They don't deserve to live. Like, da da da. Like, I don't know, it's it, it's pretty fucked up, bro. Like Yeah. The psychology of the whole shit is fucked. Cause like we see like in basic training, it was just built to break you down and make you like a killing machine. Yeah. Like he pretty much said that from the beginning. And like you could see that like what the the ideals they're selling these people on like in Vietnam is crazy. Like they don't look at these people like 
they get them not to look like these at these people like people so that they can do like what that dude is doing in the fucking plane. Yeah. Nigga, I'm playing Call of Duty in this motherfucker. This ain't real life. I, yeah. Nigga, bah, 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 I'll kill anything walking because I can. And at the end of the day, who cares if I kill another one of them? And it's like fucked up to think like, damn, yo, like how did you get to that mindset? And now like, I don't know. It's fucked up, man. You see Joker, like I like the whole thing of like, why do you have that on, on your chest? I don't know, sir. Why do you have Born to Kill on, on one side and Peace on your chest? And he's like, the duality of men. Like, yeah, I can kill, but I don't really want to. But like, I, I don't, that's an interesting concept. Or I even think, like killing for peace. Yeah, like that kind of don't make sense. Yeah, either, right. Like I'm killing the to the free for freedom. They yeah, kept saying it for freedom. Well, we're massacring these people for mm -hmm. that. So it's it don't even make sense. These soldiers don't even know why they're here. To fight in the first place. They yeah, no all them was kill. really trying to create their own, like, basically justification of why they was dead. Mm -hmm. There was a person that literally said that, yo, these Vietnamese inside them are American. Yeah. And then try to basically convert these Vietnamese to have, like, like the ideology of an American. Exactly. It's like they're trying to shift their yeah, ways. They were, they were coming to this country. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So they were like, um, and they, I think they were scared that they, they were trying to spread it to, um, they were, they were trying to spread it to South Vietnamese, and they didn't want America. They didn't want them to bring the that way of thinking to Asia. Mm -hmm. So they spent money and stuff, but I think they failed, right? They lost yeah, they lost that one. They lost yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. bro. Even the dude said, uh, uh, the dude who had like the bullets across his chest on the X, the one who ended up getting them all yeah. kind of murked off at the end. Mm -hmm. He's like, why you do this shit for freedom? He's like, motherfucker, I tell myself I do for Poon Tang. That shit bullshit. What you talking yeah, about? Like, like, yeah. If, I'm if I thought any word that shit, yeah. nigga, hey, fuck that. Nah, I'm doing it for the pussy I'm gonna get. Yeah. Like what? He said, if there's any word I'm gonna do it for, it's Poon Tang. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm like, what? And that's what they. That's what he said at the end too. He says that's something that was promised to them. Yeah. Um. After the war, the come. The, the what? What did he say? The uh. You saw all the like the come white home fuck fest. Something yeah, like that. yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. He yeah. Described exactly. It as. Like when I come home, all the girls gonna be waiting on the soldiers to come mm -hmm. back, and I'm gonna have me a ball. Yeah, it's some fuck. It's crazy. It was like the shout out to Stanley Kubrick, man, because that was a that was a very interesting take. Um. On war movies, man. He brought us there. Yeah. He literally brought us the Vietnam War right there. So yeah. and Kingpin, you killed that role, bro. Everybody I forget did. his name, but he he murdered that role. Yeah, he did that role justice. Yeah, honestly, bro. So guys, um recommend us down below other war movies that you guys want us to do as well, man. We're gonna be going through war movies shit probably for the rest of the year. There's a lot, a lot of war movies that we can tackle. So stay tuned. Get on that Patreon, man. It's your boy Patrick RT. It's a maniac with the squad RT. It's your boy Rob City RT. What up? It's your boy DC. It's your boy Wells. And that settles it at the round table. table.